everybody welcome back to the channel or page this video is going to go across multiple platforms so in this video i'm going to show you my new uh, gauge that i got from amazon for 45 dollars i'm in my car this is an obd2 plug and play gauge that just plugs in and reads the data from the obd2 port so what you're seeing now is my car is running and what you're seeing is a tachometer and there's a speedometer. It tells me the volts of the battery and the mapping that the car is currently using from the ECU. Uh, it'll display directions and stuff like that. So if I push OK here, it changes the gauge interface. Now to clarify here, this gauge runs Linux. This is a Linux running gauge. And what's nice is there are options around in there for when the gauge powers down. I set mine up for five seconds. And the reason I set it up for five seconds is because uh, I don't want to drain the battery. Sorry about the rain, it's raining where I'm at right now. So I don't want any issues. So if I push okay again, it changes the interface. This is more like a Honda S2000 type gauge you have this type of gauge you have this now this is for like uh, diagnostics and stuff like that and you have that and you have speed and all that this is track only just putting it out there push OK again it gives you that push OK again it gives you the status of DTCs, freeze, you know, the loop status loop, engine load. My engine load is 18% and I'm idling, which is okay. Coolant temp. It says it's 219, but but that's that's okay. It says fuel trim, 3%, 0%, S13, L13. The coolant is off because this car does run that high. I know that. So probably needs to be calibrated. It's not the most expensive gauge, but the tachometer does work. That's why I bought it. Push OK again. And there we go. Now, what I like about this interface is it gives me a coolant temp. And what's nice about this is... it'll let me know if the car is overheating. Now, this car has never overheated on me since I've owned it. Uh, I made sure that it hasn't happened. And the GPS is up here. So basically, the reason I bought this gauge was because I didn't like the factory tachometer. As you can see here, it's a digital one. The speedometer is analog. Even though that this is digital it has an analog style gauge interface which is what i want so when i do this right it comes back down now if i do it here it does the same thing so if i push ok there we go Right, so I'm running at 678 because I have a five speed manual transmission. If this was an automatic, it'd be a little higher. This the problem with this tachometer, this is the factory tachometer, is it'll read it, it read it's perfect, it reads fine. But the problem is, is this will tell me I can read I'm at 2900. The next one up will be at the same, but it doesn't show you uh, increments. This will show you increments. So I'm at 670. If I go like this, I know where I'm at because the analog gauge, I could go, oh, this, 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 and this. This lights up from, let's say, you have to be at a certain RPM, then it adds another... bar 
So I'm at 2200. Yes, I know that's 2200, but this is clearer to read for me. So this this works. I haven't had an issue with it. Uh, it's powered by the. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but where this cable goes is that's where the OBD2 reader is. What the OBD2 reader does is you can hook up a scan tool to it and it gives you the data from the ECU, BCM, and all that. So this is coming directly from the OBD2 port. So what it's reading is live data. That's that's what exactly what it's reading. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I will put a link to the product itself. Okay, so this gauge runs Linux. It powers on when I start the car, and it's got a safety. You actually have to physically start the car in order for the gauge to power on. That is a safety, so that way you're not wasting your battery. All right, so I'm going to turn off the car here, and you're going to see the gauge go to zero. Gauge goes to zero, and five seconds later, it'll turn off. There we go. The gauge has now turned off. So I don't have to worry about the battery being drained. So anyway, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more. Please comment, like, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Click that bell for more notifications if you're on YouTube. Click the, the like button. Favorite it if you're on Instagram. And if you're on TikTok, just like the video.